There we go. Um, we want scavs, so... I've been watching it thoroughly. I don't know about the bill. I just... My contention, at least with... I was arguing with my brother the other day, is how are they going to ban it? I want them to know how they'll technologically ban it. Now, they could... Maybe they'd fine or sue TikTok, and TikTok would... Would they themselves would ban it from the United States? Like, without using a, a VPN? Which means just people will just buy VPNs. Or, like, I don't know how technologically they will say no one in the U.S. can access this app. We'll see how that goes. I'm interested to know how that'll function. To be honest. But the, the whole idea of banning is just... It just shows the hypocrisy of our fucking government. Or the corruption, or... Like, they're they're attacking freedom of speech, and they're always attacking that. Freedom of speech has been uh, getting attacked so much in the recent, recent history. It's not good at all. And that's, that's how I feel about it. Like, sure, should we, should it be controlled by Chinese? China having our data? No, but like, Google and NSA have that shit too, so... Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. None of them are good, good actors. So, whether China has it, or the NSA has it, or Google has it, or Apple has it, I don't feel safer or less safe. Someone's gonna take advantage of our data at the end of the day. So unless we have privacy data laws that matter, this whole TikTok ban is just a farce. That's all it is. Like, they're not really doing anything to protect America's interests. They might think they are objectively, but I would say on a uh, both an idealistic and like practical platform, they're not doing that at all. They're just showboating idiots. And there's a there's a senator or congressman, no, congressman who actually uses TikTok, and he's got TikTok that say, "We're never gonna ban it. I'm never gonna vote for banning it." And he voted for banning it. <laughs> like what the fuck? That's just the, the hypocrisy is so real. The only reason he's using TikTok was to try and reach uh, the younger younger generations to vote for him. And that guy's just a total fucking just. Hollow piece of shit. I'll read what you said here in a second. I'm just trying to find the scab. No, you said something. Oh. Is that a player? No. Dude, why won't he die? I just don't get it, man. Ugh. And there's a sniper scav up there. Okay, we're gonna pop that. Um, and go in the bushes to heal our arm. Nobody sees me down here. Okay. You're sus of the platform simply because it's owned by foreign rivals and the Gen Zers are getting 50% of their new ingestion. So, like, yes, I don't disagree, but at the same time, I mean, so, dude, when I... I, I actually was of the similar thought previously when, like, TikToks and shorts... And just like ingesting information and such little bits of data, but I've also I've been using TikTok like last two weeks, and uh, there are a lot of like short clips and stuff that you can just. Sorry. Um. I think that could be a scab. I think a player is over here behind me. What the fuck? What the 
Okay. Yeah, it's two fucking players, dude. Ah! Oh. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, but also, there's long form stuff on TikTok too. So, I don't know. Real Money Trader and Nikita's Mom. That's a name for you. They have a 20 KD with 400 hours. Okay. Um, and what I've realized watching TikToks in the last couple of weeks is that I, people have a lot of creativity, man. Well, there's a lot of bloat, but there's like, it's just the same bloat as you see on YouTube. Like people commentating on other videos people uh making their like an artistic version of an already like a human video real life video and there's just so much creativity out there and what i think tiktok allows a lot of people to do and express is themselves creatively in ways that they ne haven't necessarily done it before and I get, ultimately at the end of the day if they ban tiktok there's gonna be a tiktok 2.0 dude like uh Unless you equate it like TikToks and those kind of things to gambling and like make it illegal everywhere, there's not, it's not going to go away. It's not even the fun side, dude. Like there, there's the intellectual side. There's the ability to access people all over the planet who are talking politically or um, like the news and information side. I'm, I'm interested in personally, whether or not, uh, it's accurate is up to the population, the populace. Eventually we self police on information. So, and I, I ultimately think that like nationalism, Nazism and extremities, uh, extremism, extremist beliefs are going to exist. Whether like, if you try to ban those beliefs and go against freedom of speech, you're just inflaming those people who believe those beliefs. And so you're making them bigger communities. And so I, I'm a proponent of freedom of speech, man. To me, that's what TikTok is. And again, if we kill TikTok, great. But there's all these other platforms, and they already ex like whether it's China, Google, NSA, Apple. They're all terrible actors, and on the state, on this, on the planet stage. So like, if you, if you, if, I was reading comments actually that that said, I would rather Google and Apple control my data than fucking China. That is, um, to me, an ignorant statement. They are, all three of those actors are bad. At the end of the day, they are not, you're not, your data is not safe. They're using it against you. They're feeding it through AI. And the negative consequences are huge. We can have drastic consequences when that happens. You think, honestly, that the, the corporate profiteering douchebags at Google are like, should we make money? off of selling people's data and using it to manipulate them to do what we want? Or should we just say we don't do that and we won't do it? Wink. Like, honestly, people, they're using your data against you, whether it's Google or not Google. It sets a public display and culture on what we want to actually talk about. What sets a public display? TikTok? Yeah, Vine Mike, but Vine was like the predecessor to TikTok, right? So, and with technology, man, TikTok might not even be relevant in like five years. Even if it's still like in the United States and not banned, who knows what's going to come along? The next AI social media is probably going to be nuts. If that, it's not already TikTok. If that, we, we haven't already met, reached that level. I don't really want to go back to customs and just die to a stupid fucking. EMC. What quest should I work on? Oh, let's do a scav. We're totally going to do a scav. Tolerating extremist rhetoric. So there's a difference between allowing it and tolerating it, in my opinion. Just be, I like, I'm not going to stand there and have a Nazi yell at me, and I'm not going to ingest that material. 
but other people have the right and freedom to do that. But you look at like other cultures like Europe where they don't have freedom of speech, like they're they're inflaming nationalism way more than America is, in my opinion, because of the inability to speak freely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. I would say I would agree with that. For sure. And I think, obviously, there always needs to be a conversation about freedom of speech. Like, that's... But I personally... Like, I think an aspect of America that's so profound and was historically driven, driving... A driving aspect of why we were so powerful in the last 200 years is freedom of speech. I really do think that's an aspect of it. There's a lot of politics involved and there's a lot of bankers involved, but like on the, how we formed our current, like led up to our current society, freedom of speech was a tenant of that. Were corporations still, you know, killing people left and light? Like we look at the union busting. People weren't really like people were talking freely, but then they were getting killed for it. So the, that doesn't mean that there's no consequences for it. There's always consequences for freedom of speech, but I argue, I think they outweigh the lack of freedom of speech. You don't have freedom of speech. You don't have a free society. You're going to be lied to. And we're already lied to in it, this semi freedom of speech planet we live in. Because the whole planet doesn't have freedom of speech. A lot of places it's actually against the law to speak about certain topics. And that's just fucked up. It's so easy to have corruption when you can't talk about it. Uh, factory. Yeah, it'll go factory. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> yes, sir. I personally noticed that freedom of speech has been under attack a lot recently, ever since COVID. I mean, it, it was beginning, it was attacked before COVID. Um, but it's amazing how, like Reddit, for example, the moderators on Reddit dude are so heavy handed nowadays they've they've progressively gotten worse and worse and worse over time um there's literally on the ufo subreddit is one i like to, to watch a monitor for i was i loved it at the beginning when i joined reddit a decade plus ago and uh it got worse and then i stopped using it and then they got rid of some of the bad actor moderators you can start talking about things again and now they're going back to should we not allow people to say shallow things about public figures like I'll give you an example. I made a comment actually, and I was just like, oh, okay, that was shallow. I brought up the point that uh that specifically the guy that was talking was a total asshat because he was working for the military industrial complex and he comes out to be this quote unquote public figure, and we're supposed to just believe him because he's a scientist. So he's automatically uh, an authority figure, so we should always accept what he says, even though what he's spewing is just dumbassery ignorance. And because I use a curse word, I didn't say dumbassery, but I use other curse words, they were like, oh, this isn't an allowed comment because I had some anger in my post when, like, for real, soon? Is that a player? About to get shot, aren't I? No. When I was, I made a constructive comment and just because I made a, a I made a curse word, I said a curse word, that automatically dismissed everything else I said. It didn't matter what I said, because I cursed. And because I cursed, you know, all the other constructive or deconstructive things I said were... Woo! ...were not even considered. Which is ridiculous. Shot him right that there, hurts, man. Eventually, not bro. I fucking shot you in the head. How are you alive? I'm gonna get. <laughs> we got a PMC over here, boys. <laughs> oh, I fell to my death. I had the music on still. Damn it. Right, but so I agree with what you're saying. Laissez faire to an extent makes sense. But at the same time, when we allow 
entities like the government and corporations, which we are, like through this tool of Reddit, Reddit isn't isn't the United States. Reddit can control what you say. They legally have the authority to block you. We have no freedom of speech platforms on every media platform. There was one, or I mean, there's a couple. Like you could argue 4chan is. 4chan's a cesspool though, right? Which, I mean, so there's there's aspects of freedom of speech that are definitely negative. Can't believe I didn't kill this guy, dude. I shot, I, I thought I shot him in the head. He totally got me though. Bastard. What, like, what we're seeing is these corporations are saying, oh, we're not, we're not the government, so you can't say these things. So they're using an excuse that they're a private entity when, um, is bullshit because United States uh, Supreme Court has proved, has said that corporations are people. So if corporations are people, how are they allowed to suppress other people's freedom of speech rights? You know, I should sue on those grounds and fucking see what I get with that. We have to get a permit to publicly hold protests. Yeah, I mean, when I learned that was a thing, I was just like, wow, that's great. So no wonder I ever, but like, that's the other thing is right. Like, even if it's a protest that's been permitted, people still get arrested. <laughs> we got the whole police state aspect of the United States. But like, and to kind of circle back to what we're talking about, like, as much as I think there are negative aspects of TikTok, I think the pros outweigh the cons and the United States American government banning TikTok is not going to help anything. That's not what we need to do. We should make a better TikTok. Let the market decide, right? Like what we were just you were just saying. Not, oh, let's ban it. And then we know that what the fuck's going to happen. TikTok 2.0 will be here next year. Like, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you can see it's probably tick, fucking the U.S. investors are probably on both sides of it, man. They usually are. That's how we destroyed i mean that's how we controlled the plant last 80 years at least is like world war one world war two we weren't on a side until the very end when we chose the winner and we supported a side and they won because we were supporting both sides and then we decided to stop supporting one side uh all right we got to figure out a quest to do i don't want to go back to customs uh that's interchange oh how does that 40 scavs, bro. That's so many scavs. You need to kill Blue Car. Flyhouse, Shoreline. I decided to snipe. Just chill and snipe. Yeah. Let me check something. And to be honest, I want to know what else is going on in the world. Like, what? I feel like there's a TikTok. Like, there's that we. If everyone says there's always a distraction, right? Like, if there's a UFO article, people are like, oh, it's distracting from Gaza, or oh, it's distracting from the Ukraine Russia, or they're saying Ukraine Russia is distracting from this. But like. I wonder if there's something because it seems like because so many people are involved with TikTok and actually has a huge economic impact. Um, I it would be interested to know how much American money America will lose because uh, at least American people because there's millions of jobs that are that have been created through TikTok, literally millions, and uh, that's going to affect us economically. Probably not the rich people as much, but the poor people for sure.